Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Lesna and today I'll be teaching you some few things I know about the disc DJ and cross DJ. And these are the apps on the phone that you can use to mash up something or mix. So they are pretty cool and let me start with the cross DJ. and the cross dj happens to have a lot of limitations that you have to purchase the some of the some of the important features like the fx you need to purchase them so it has a lot of limitations but let's jump it yeah so when you open up the app this is what you're going to see that is i will use some arrows to demonstrate so over here on the left this is deck a that's the wheel for deck a and this one is the wheel for deck b this is the cross fader and over here are the faders for volume i'll click it this one has for deck A and for deck B. Here is the base for deck A, MIDI, and I. The same thing on deck B. Over here, we have the FX, of which they have only given the low pass alone. The other ones you have to download. And when you are downloading them, they ask you to purchase the the FX. So I find it quite limiting because you don't have to purchase these stuffs while you have the Sierra and the Virtue DJ. Again, I'll click the FX. I'm going to click the FX again. Yeah, to return to the previous window. So. Something else you need to know is the samplers. Samplers are over here. And you can create your own sampler using the cross DJ. But this is up for just reducing boredom, like when you are in a mat and you can't open up your laptop. Yeah. So if you wanna add some some like your drops you click the add new set you still have to buy. So this is one of the most challenging thing like you can't purchase this stuff they are they are a bit cheap but it's like wasting your time because you have the Cerato and the virtue DJ. So let's jump into something like mashing up a song so i'll click the the sampler pad again here to go back to the previous window and when you want to load a song you are supposed to click the plus here on both decks if you want to load a song on the k you click the plus sign on the k if you want to load on deck b the plus sign on deck b so i'm going to click on a song that won't lock up video the instrumental Let's 
So something else I didn't show you is the loop where you can loop. So if you wanna loop, you're supposed to click the the current icon over there. So I'm going to click it. So you have to set some loops to know where you you are going to remix your song. So without wasting time, you see. First of all, the BPMs are not the same, and for it to work, you have to make sure. I know if you are watching this thing, you are a, a big or a, an outstanding DJ, so I don't have to explain a lot of things. So just pay attention to the shit I'm going to do here. I'm going to increase the the BPM to 106 or you can press sync and another limitation of this cross dj is that once you sign there's no the the key changes like if it was like something like 2b it it matches with the key for the other the, the song on deck b so it sounds weird off key like the the authenticity of the song does not get kept so let me play it and you gonna hear it Okay, like you can see, another thing about this cross DJ, it is how some it is sweet. Like when it's come when it comes to things like scratching, like you can scratch very, very easily. But as the song as the song plays, you find that it keeps on cutting itself. Even like the time when you are loading another song while one song is playing, it, it keeps on kind of lagging. So the vibe of the song just gets destroyed. So I kind of dislike it, but it's so sweet. So our next video will be on disc DJ. And I'm going to show you about the disc DJ. And after that, we are going to check some few things on virtual DJ, and we're going to take a lot of time on one thing that is Sony Acid Pro and Vega. So, if you truly wanna know how to use these stuffs, you're on the right channel. Like, a like. A year ago, I never knew how to use the Sony Acid or the Vegas, but I must shout out to my G, the king himself, DJ Stab, like that man has helped me a lot and you can still check on his channel and let, let's see each other on the next tutorial on Disc DJ. Disc DJ is the baddest of all, yeah, and still... There is the virtual DJ for the phone, so I'll show you how to install it and how to use it. So, 
Until next time. Boom. Goodbye.